Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are previewing the upcoming FIFA World Cup qualifying fixture between Colombia and Brazil. This match will be played in Barranquilla. The stadium we'll be playing at does not feature in the virtual red patch that I used, so I've selected a different stadium, the home of clubs Millonarios and Santa Fe, and this is the stadium where the Colombian national team usually plays their own matches. I would say more often than any of the others anyway, but not usually they rotate around a bit. Here's a look at our stand-in for the preview today. One of the regular homes of the Colombian national team, would be a better way to put it. The players take the pitch, let's take another look around our stand-in. Colombian Stadium before we pause for the national anthem. Prepare for kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For Colombia, they line up in a 4 2 3 1. Borja at the top of the formation. Zapata, the Atalanta man, and Cuadrado, the Juventus man on the wings. Barrios, the world class defensive midfielder from Zenit. And a spin in goal from Napoli. For Brazil, lines up in a 4 4 2. Playing a little more defensive setup than they normally would with Brazil because Colombia are one of the better sides in South America. It's on the road, it should be a hostile environment. Let's look at our Merlin ball. So I've got Neymar at more of a right midfield spot, and I expect him to drift in and up into more of his normal kind of attacking midfield role. Um, I've got a double pivot with Fabinho and Casemiro in front of the back four. I do expect the fullbacks to push forward. You know, Brazil always do that anyway. I so already see Neymar kind of floating more central there. So, oh, he dispossessed there. Kinius going over, steps to the. To the Ball carrier and commits a foul. Would have been what you call one of those professional fouls. Pedrado, the Juventus man, delivers the free kick towards the box. Getting more difficult to power rank comparable lately. I like to do just just for me in my mind, not for anyone else. But a little power rankings aside, especially when it comes to the internationals. I think for a long time it's been you know make the argument from time to time with Brazil or Argentina one and two. Most of the time it's Brazil. Uruguay usually pretty solidly third, and for a while Chile were really, really good there. They, they're starting to age, fall off a bit. 
Columbia. Really good for a while, fell off for a bit. Now they're really good again. Peru and Ecuador are both sides. Show flashes. And I just absolutely love Uruguay. I love everything about how they do things. But I think at this point, it's getting hard for me to continue to argue that they are the third best team in Convoy at this point. I think it's Colombia. Certainly got Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Uruguay, Chile, and some combination. Then it gets really hard too. You got Peru, Paraguay, Ecuador. We put those three in any order, and then I think probably maybe Venezuela over Bolivia at the bottom. Cotton Bowl is a really fun confederation to watch. These matches are always very hotly contested. They're generally pretty chippy. See a lot of fouls, a lot of bookings. Um, for me, when I watch, uh, let's say, Cotton Bowl versus UEFA, Cotton Bowl feels a lot more physical. And I know that <laughs> in UEFA, I'm not saying it's not physical, but just you, know, you have to watch it. Again, very physical, very chippy, a lot of fouls, a lot of bookings. South American style is pretty fiery when it comes to football. As for this preview, not a whole lot in the first half there. Definitely more possession for Brazil, a couple of chances for him, nothing yet for Colombia, but not a whole lot going on in front of goal. We'll have to see if we can, both sides will be coming out in the second half looking to change that. As I said at the top, admittedly, I came in with, came out a bit more defensive than I generally would with Brazil. And I think, again, the thinking is just on the road against one of the better sides. And Brazil, just because they have so much quality, you can generally depend on that just moment of brilliance for someone to get a goal. You don't necessarily have to throw a lot of numbers forward and really force it. Again, I got Neymar on that right wing, kind of drifting in and out. Oh, Borja coming out pretty early for Muriel. That's interesting, because he... Well, I guess we just saw there were no shot attempts at halftime, so maybe, maybe the thought is a change up top will help ameliorate that. Casillo goes long and a free kick. Bruno Firmino. I haven't said either of my center forwards names much yet either. Gabriel Jesus catches up to that one. Danilo in. Cross is knocked down. Columbia come away with it. Attacking chance is thwarted by Columbia again. We're past the hour mark and it's still nil-nil. I guess I always think this, but I felt like my, my tactic was really clever coming into this match, and now I'm feeling like it was a mistake. I should have, I guess it's not too late to change it. I kind of want to see it out here. Maybe I'm making the same mistake that Pep Guardiola makes all the time in big matches, and he tends to overthink it a bit. Casemiro, the Real Madrid holding midfielder. Overton's pass is knocked down. Uh-oh. Alisson gets to it first. Liverpool keeper. Thiago Silva, the European holders, Chelsea to Danilo. For Roberto Firmino, the Liverpool man. Neymar, a PSG. As if I even need to say it. He is dispossessed. Anyone who doesn't know Neymar probably isn't watching a video like this. <laughs> Sparing the introduction. Both teams still struggling to get forward here. Gabriel Jesus. Opportunity there. Goes begging. A 
Hassan. Oh, goodness. Tackle nearly got a piece of that, and that could have been one of those really awful kind of goals that random deflection. Well, I guess awful if they're scored against you, not awful if you're the one scoring. Nice shot there from Firmino. Spina, the Napoli keeper, knocks it away. Oh, he's very happy with that one. He should be. That was a good, good uh, shot there and a good save. Nice job from Firmino to corral that and get it in a position to take that strike. Neymar stands over the corner. Chara on for Cremona. That's a defensive substitution, I would say. Or maybe not. Barbosa for Gabriel Jesus. That's Gabby Gold. Charlotte's on for Firmino. Definitely going for a little more size to knock this in. Don't get it. One more chance here. In the box. No. No. Oh, goodness. And maybe I should have made that substitution. This substitution is a striker a little earlier. But let's throw on the big guys here and go for a header here. It didn't work out. I might have pepped myself, as I said earlier, and been a bit too clever for my my own good. The result is a nil-nil stalemate. Nice shot there from Gabriel Jesus, the Manchester City striker. Everton comes through with a header here, but it goes wide. Firmino, nice strike here, knocked away. And then Gabby Goal and Richarlison come on. Nothing doing on the ensuing corner, and that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, you can leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe to my channel for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.